This um, microphone kind of tuck it under your shirt if you get yeah. it. Like up and under? Um, yeah, just like under your lapel is good. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. And just kind of hide it behind the jean jacket. It's cool. Thank you. Is that okay? Um, I'm going to fix it for you. Or is it the other way? Um, let's just let's put it right. Oh, okay. On the outside. Um, you know, let's put it on the inside just so we don't see it. Well, then, right there is perfect. Cool. All right, thank you. Oh boy, Mama, there's so much going on. I know they've been very interested in what we're doing. <laughs> Hi, girls. Mm -hmm. So how long ago did you guys adopt here? So, like, just mm -hmm. curious. 2018. We started adopting okay. from Kit Kat Player in 2018 with the Jazz Cats litter. <laughs> That's a good litter to start yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> What were the names of um, your cats from? Hawk, uh -huh. aka Coleman Hawkins. Okay. And um, Sydney, Sydney, named after Sydney Bechet. Mm -hmm. Did you keep the names? We did. We did. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> what are we coming for, Ella? But then we All bought, I know is that I got time. so excited because the litter yeah. was. Um, a bunch of polydactyl cats. Oh, right, right, right yeah. with the extra toe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. A friend of mine um, took in a cat, a mama cat that gave birth to the, the polydactyl. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Whenever you guys are, yeah. we are rolling. So, what we'll do is um, just uh, when we get started, just say your name, and um, then I'll just start. Um, and I, what I would do is say, I'm Katie, and I'm Brian, and we've adopted kittens from Kit Kat Playroom. And then I'll start with the first question. And yeah, we'll so to start off, we'll just do an introduction. It's just say yep. who you are and, mm -hmm. yep. and why you're here, yep. basically. Right. Do you want us to be looking at you? You I always look at her. Pretend yep. I'm not here. Yeah, uh, just okay. ignore him. <laughs> okay. Also, we won't hear her questions in the, the final video, so try to restate the questions if she asks something, because you know we won't know what she asks. So oh, just kind of restate that in your answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And also just let the cats do what they do. Let the kittens play. They they're gonna make noise, they're gonna do what they're doing, they wanna climb up here, yeah. and that's all part of the part of the fun. We're used to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so all so, right, so whenever you like. My name is Katie. Um, I've adopted kittens from Kit Kat Playroom since 2018. My name's Ryan. I've uh, adopted and uh, loved all the kittens <laughs> 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 since uh, 2018 from Kit Kat Playroom. So when did you first decide to adopt a kitten, and what made you decide to adopt from uh, Kit Kat Playroom? Uh, so in 2018, we were fortunate to buy a house, and we were finally gone of the landlord days, so we were looking for cats <laughs> to fill our home with. So it was, yeah, 2018, we uh, first found Kit Kat Playroom, and um, we came here, we had ample time, and the uh, it's an opportunity to see a lot of kittens. Yeah. Two different litters. And, uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think um, what really made them stand out to me was when I was just looking at shelters in our local area. Um, 
I was just really impressed that they had a YouTube channel where you could kind of get to know and see the cats beforehand and you could see that they were extremely well cared for and loved. Um, and you could kind of see their personalities ahead of time. So yeah, we kind of had some favorites going in, but um, fortunately Jen let us come and meet our first, you know, and thankfully every other litter that we've adopted. And um, we just ended up going home with whoever picked us. And that's been the best experience ever. And you've adopted several times here. Yeah. So tell us about uh, your cats that you adopted. Yeah, so we've adopted several cats from Kid Cat Playroom starting in 2018 with Hawk and Sydney from the Jazz Cats. Um, unfortunately, this past year, Sydney passed away due to congestive heart failure, um, which was really unfortunate, but um, it did allow us to open our hearts again once we were healed. Um, and then we were fortunate enough to d adopt Melon, formerly Levi, and Calvin kept his name from the patient's pants litter. And then most recently, um, over the holiday season, we adopted another tuxedo cat uh, named Skunk. And he has just been the cutest thing ever. Like, <laughs> yeah. Describe the adoption process. How does that work? Um, well, a, the adoption process worked in such a way that we came in, we had time to visit a new kitten. Um, once we were interested and we wanted to, to go through the adoption process, um, it was for, it's basically a form, um, and then KCAT Playroom would review that form. And usually it took like a day to give her back and like, hey, you are approved. And that's when the excitement starts. Yeah. <laughs> so we start that's making like start. the baby room at home yeah. and everything. But like Jen has been so great through every single adoption process we've had. Like answering any questions that we have has been like so patient when, you know, we want to spend like a couple of extra minutes with the kittens, um, especially when they fall asleep on us, because, you know, the cardinal rule of don't get up if a cat falls asleep on your lap. But, um, yeah, she always let us make sure that we were absolutely certain and smitten with the cat, with our, you know, the babies we ended up adopting, which is all we could ask for. Why would you recommend Kit Kat Playroom to somebody else who's looking to adopt a kitten? Um, these are probably the most well cared for, well adjusted, happy kittens I've ever met. Um, I have friends that work in other rescue situations or volunteer in shelters, and Kit Kat Playroom goes above and beyond with like their volunteer system, the I, as you can see like the specialty like rooms and like care that each litter gets. Like Jen is incredible and gives specialized attention to every single baby that comes in her path, whether they're a bottle baby or are fortunate enough to be here with a mama. Um, I think that in addition to the loving community that's been like grassroots grown around Kit Kat Playroom really sets them apart from just about any other experience I personally know. Um, like when Skunk our most recent adopted cat was going through some tremendous struggles with his health. Not only Jen, but the community at large like rallied around us and made sure that we were loved. Like when Sydney passed away, um, people that have been long term, like lovers and fans of Kit Kat Playroom, like reached out to me and like let me know that they were sad with me. And I feel like that's also something that's extra special that you don't necessarily get uh, from any other experience. And we've been truly blessed to be a part of the community too, so we give back whenever we can. Yeah. You had mentioned uh, just when you came in about the toys that you're making. Just really quickly <laughs> talk about your toys. Yeah, so we wanted to give back and help with the fundraising during Skunk's uh, health challenges. Um, and I made some felt catnip toys that were Valentine's Day themed um, that had like his a little skunk face and a catnip heart and some bows and pom-poms that were like all pink and it was really cute um and from what i hear the community has been enjoying them so i'm looking forward to hopefully doing another project in the future to kind of pick a cat yeah you've
pretty much answered all of my questions. Do you have anything that you would like to add? If you could tell one person one thing about Kit Kat Playroom, what would you tell them? Hmm. <laughs> I guess, yeah, the one thing I would tell people about Kit Kat Playroom is like, um, yeah, the one thing I would tell people about Kit Kat Playroom is that the rooms that they set up and they, the community that comes in there's at least three times a day there's snugglers coming in playing with cats. These kittens are sometimes intermingled with other uh, litters, so they just grow up in this, to me, the best environment a kitten could grow up into. So when you adopt a cat, it's, I don't know, it's just best all around. If you have kittens at home already, or cat, adult cats at home, if you have another animal like dogs or um, children, I think they integrate well into your house and into your life because of Kit Kat Playroom. Yeah, love that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I don't want the unfortunate parts is when you go to uh, say like PetSmart, you see kittens kind of like in a cube and as much as there's volunteers coming in, I think there's more volunteers here. Um, there's much more connected because of their social media presence and I don't know. Yeah, the unique actual, environment that actual people <laughs> have yeah. make them really well adjusted and happy for sure. <laughs> All right, um, could you just look at her? But could you kind of talk a little bit more about how um, the presence of the the live stream kind of benefited your adoption process and how that made it better going into this? Yeah. Go over what's to talk. Sorry, putting my thoughts together for yeah, a second. Yeah. I want to make sure you get a good sound yeah. bite because I know you're probably going to edit that in. <laughs> um, All right. The, the best part that we love about this live stream with our previous cats at home, our cats watch the live stream. I don't know if... They do! I don't know if it's inherent with them. They, they know that, that there's cats here, but... Or if they remember that they were here once. Leading up to our next adoption, we were like, hey, this is going to be your new brother. This is going to be your sister. And I don't know, it took out our heartstrings to see that. We turn on the chat. We love when people are just chiming in. They all say hi, you know, and there's 10 other people saying, hey, welcome to the chat. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know, it's very entertaining for us. We had it on this background as just as much as anything as if you ever watch someone on Twitch play a video game. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. watching kittens are way more inter interesting. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, the live stream is fun. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah, we do. We put on the live stream and I don't know if it's because they recognize the voices because um, there's a regular dedicated group of volunteers that come in to take care of the cats. Um, with Skunk's adoption, I was fortunate enough to be a part of like some of the volunteer process as well and take some of those shifts so I can speak firsthand about how well cared for the cats are, um, having done some of that work myself. And yeah, the cats and people in our household love watching the streams. Um, they get glued to the TV and it, for at least the, the patient's pants and skunk's adoption, we've had, you know, every single shift up so that they could see the kittens, hear the kittens, hear the volunteers, mm -hmm. and they pay attention um, and have a lot of fun watching the streams just as much as we do. Yeah. Um, when you had adopted your kitten and you couldn't necessarily take it home yet, did you log on and kind of watch your kitten? Can you kind of talk about what that's like getting to see the one that you're going to take home in, in a little while? Yeah. Um, after applying to adopt a kitten and getting um, thankfully accepted uh, to adopt, um, especially with skunk like and the patient's pants, we would have the live stream on at home in anticipation of adoption day. It definitely drove up the excitement. It was um, really fun to put together baby rooms like for your typical millennial married couple. Um, our cats are our babies. So um, we would have the live streams on in the background as we were making like the, I guess, base camp baby room for everybody to come home in. Um, and I think it really just added to all of the excitement that we were feeling. Yeah. All right. Um, 
that's all I have. Uh, is there anything else that you wanted to share? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. many ways to be part of this community. You don't physically got to be here to um, come in and volunteer. You can always donate. Um, yeah, everyone's always available that live feed to be part of. And, um, yeah, that's a really great point. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many different ways to be a part of this community. And um, when I was uh, making and sending out the cat toys, I was surprised to see just how far reaching the community is. And I think that is because of socials and YouTube um, and also like really dedicated word of mouth. Like I, I shipped cat toys everywhere from local towns around here all the way up to Hawaii, um, which I think is incredible when you think about it. Uh, just the reach um, and impact Jen and Cat Playroom have had. Um, there's so many loving people that will send in paper towels or churros. Uh, you know, there's so many different ways you can give to an institution like the Cat Playroom to like really benefit these babies. Um, you know, aside from giving money or time directly to, although those things are always, always appreciated in a rescue, of course. But yeah, I think feeling included um, in everything. Um, the other fun part from being a doctor that I would say is um, once we got the kittens home, the journey and community didn't stop there on adoption day. There's still a lot of people that I'm t in touch with regularly where we follow each other on Instagram, we chat, um, you know, we're all rooting for one another and want to see these cats grow up big and strong and like have the best life. And yeah, I think that's another incredible part of it too is that it doesn't just end on adoption day. Yeah. All right, I think we're good. We got, I think we got everything. Okay. I've got everything. Um, yeah, and we asked, you asked like, um, you know, why would you recommend this to a potential adopter? We talked about that. Mm -hmm. So I think we're good. Thank you guys so much yes, for coming out. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. This will be a perfect addition for just get your mm -hmm. perspective for the video um, and for any potential adopters. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. And when we go downstairs, I'll give you one email and we'll get all that straightened out for yeah. uh, a picture of, of your cats. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any video of your cats watching the live stream? That'd be great. Yeah. If you can get yeah. it. Yeah. Take some? Yeah. Um, that'd be cool. Yeah. For a couple seconds, just to put it in there. That'd be cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll send you guys whatever. Well, she we would have. snuggle. I would take pictures. Yeah. Of put it in the share folder. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Any content would be great. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Is it? It's okay if it's iPhone quality. Of course. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so no just problem. making sure. Yeah, that's all. Because yeah. that's all we have. Okay. <laughs> we Hi. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Don't you that. I, I expected that. We're yeah. good. <laughs> it's such a thin wire. It's definitely got chomps in it. I'm so sorry. That's mm -hmm. all cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. You're so cute. I could have all I would. Uh, I hear you. <laughs> How many interviews are you guys doing? This You're the third. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. We did a we did a volunteer snuggler and, and we Jen. did Jen. And then you guys. Okay. Okay. Nice. Cool. So we got it. all the perspectives and I'm gonna put them all together. So. Heck yeah. Yeah. Hi, cool. Are you good breaking down? Yeah, we're all good. All right. All right. Thanks, so, guys. Yeah. yeah, thank you for your time. If you guys need anything else or need to redo anything, let okay. us know. We're close okay. by. Sure. Sounds good. It shouldn't be necessary, but maybe for the next one or whatever. I appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. It's been a really long time since I've been on camera. So. <laughs> oh, you're good. You did great. Yeah, you did great. Yeah. <laughs> Coming through. Ready? All right, girls. Gotta watch, there's no escape. All right. Hi, girls.